Okay. All right. Praise the Lord. So this morning I'm going and I'm reading, I'm reading the word and uh, you know, I, and I ran across this scripture that I know I've read, I don't know how many times, a lot <laughs> throughout my life. And, but today it just jumped out at me and it's just really blessed me and it's been bubbling around and on the inside of me. So I thought I'd share it and it's not going to be no, <laughs> you know, to most of you are going to be like, yeah, yeah. Okay. Whatever. But, but honestly, I mean, if, if I don't, I, I really don't think that people think about this enough and, and realize exactly what this, what this scripture is saying, you know, in Ephesians uh, 2, 8, it says, for by grace, we are saved through faith and that not of ourselves, but it is a gift of God. So our salvation is, you know, is a gift from God. But if you go up just a few verses right above that, and and <laughs> and don't think I have all this memorized. I have a little cheat sheet right over here. Um, so I'm going to read this, okay? So if we start in um, Ephesians 2, 6, it says, He has raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. <laughs> are you are you hearing that? Are are you getting that? Okay, let's let's go through this a little slower, all right? All right. That he's raised us up together and made us sit in heavenly places. So we're seated in Christ. We know that we're in Christ. So we're going to be seated in Jesus in heavenly places for all eternity. <laughs> for all eternity. <laughs> Incorruptible. I, I used to I used to think, you know, oh God, what if I get to heaven and I sin? You know? Oh, that would be so awful, you know. How am I going to keep from sinning? And the Bible says that this, this mortal body will put on immortality and this corruptible body will put on incorruption or uncorruptible. We'll be un we'll, we won't be able to be corrupted <laughs> ever again. We don't ever have to worry about falling out of relationship with God ever again, ever. It'll never happen. Never. It'll never happen. But anyway, so verse seven's the one. All right. In the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kind and in his kindness towards us through Jesus Christ. His exceeding riches. <laughs> you know, I you know, you, you think about you think about like the kings of this earth and you know, and I think the other day I was watching the show and it was like um they was they they had these people on there and they had these giant yachts and you know mansions of the rich and famous you know that show and you know and you kind of see you see some of this stuff what what man believes is luxury you know <laughs> and i'm telling you i'm telling you what god has in as as far as his exceeding riches is going to blow our minds it is just gonna blow us away we have never we haven't even thought <laughs> of um, of how good it's going to be in heaven it, it hasn't even it hasn't even <laughs> come to our minds yet we have no man that can imagine how great it's going to be um, so let's see where am I how many minutes am I? I don't know. Okay. All right. So I'll try to get this in. I'm not sure if this will go in or not. We, when I said that it's the highest position in all the universe, that's exactly what I meant. Being seated in Christ, we are literal heirs to the throne of the most high God heirs joint heirs in Christ to the throne of the most high God <laughs> you can't get any higher than that 
It doesn't get any better than that. It can't get any better than that. It, it can't. I mean, for, for a created being to be seated in Jesus, to be seated in God, the creator, to be seated in him, there's nowhere else to go. That's as high as you can go. <laughs> oh, I, I'm serious. I, that just made me do a happy dance this morning. It really did. It, it, it just it just blows my mind. If you look at um, okay, Galatians four seven. Galatians four seven says, "Wherefore thou art no more a servant, but a son. And if a son, then an heir of God through Christ." <laughs> Galatians 4 1 starting with 4, 4 1 it's talking about it's talking about that a young a young child doesn't actually take on his even even though the young child okay so let's say the child's um, born into a very wealthy family family well that child might be extremely wealthy but he can't really obtain any of that wealth he can't do anything with that wealth until once he gets older and he matures and he becomes, you know, he can actually take on his inheritance. Well, what Galatians, between Galatians 4.1 and 4.7 is describing is that we can't, we, you know, this, this, this young child is, is no better than a servant because at, at a child's age, because he hasn't matured yet. What 4.7 is declaring is that we once we are uh once we receive christ and we're in christ we have full sonship <laughs> we're considered completely completely matured in in god and that 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 gift w is ours completely there's no growing into it <laughs> it's so wherefore thou art no more a servant or a baby but a son and if a son then an heir of God through Christ <laughs> incredible incredible you cannot get any better than that praise the Lord so I just wanted to share that it just it just really blessed me today and um, I just pray that that it blesses you and gives you something to think about think about that forever forever his exceeding riches his exceeding riches of his grace is going to be shown to us for eternity incredible you are the righteousness of God if you're a believer you are the righteousness of God in Jesus Christ and Jesus loves you I'll see you later bye